Malcolm, how do you think the off week went for you guys? And do you feel like you got done everything that you wanted to get done at, at practice? Yeah, I, I feel like the off week definitely went good. I feel like it was very productive. I feel like we took the, a great step in getting ahead, developing our depth, and making sure that we're clean on all of our little things that we slipped up on in the past and all of our little areas that a lot of teams could strike. We took great strides in cleaning those things up and watching more film and getting ready for our next opponent. Hey, it seems like the first eight games these two months, you guys have been dealing with injuries, you've been dealing with a lot of different challenges. How good does it feel knowing coming into the final stretch of the season, you guys are relatively healthy and all back out there? It feels great. <laughs> like This is the best. I feel like the energy has been in the past three years around this time of season with everybody just not in the training room aching and mad about injuries that are going to be long lasting. I feel like everybody's at a great spot this at this point of the season and I feel like this is going to play great dividends for us in the rest of the season like having this many guys be able to go out there practicing games, getting those reps that we need and that, that we're going to need for this long stretch is big and I feel like that's going to benefit us. What have you seen out of uh, Notre Dame's offense so far? see a lot. I see that they are a team who loves to run. I see they're a team who loves to use a tight end, and they love to use the tight end's versatility, and they also do a lot in the passing game. They use their receivers a lot. They like to block, and their offensive line is very sound and fundamental in what they do, and their quarterbacks never have a drop off, and they do great things, and they play to a standard around there. A tight end, you need a, a big guy who seems to catch everything, doesn't he? That, how much of a challenge is that going to be for you guys? Yeah, he plays hard. We play hard. It's going to be a great game. It's going to be a lot of competing out there. It's going to be a lot of guys trying to make plays and everybody on our side of the ball. I feel like if we follow our keys and fundamentals that we'll take the stride that we need to, and I'm sure that they'll be trying to do the same. Any questions for Malcolm from Zoom? My mindset heading into this game is to definitely make sure that we don't get too phased or out of whack about the size of the moment or everything that's going on around us in the environment. Just understand that it's the next game and that we have to dominate each moment that's in front of us. And having everybody collectively on that same path and with that same mindset is going to do great things for us. Yes, ma'am. Hey, Malcolm, it's Anna. Um, I know you guys take it one game at a time and, and rankings, you don't really bother yourselves with, especially this early, but do you pay attention to the, um, the first college football playoff rankings tomorrow night? Nah, I really don't too much pay attention to media and social media, really. But my teammates sometimes do, and they sometimes talk about it, but I'm not too much on my phone. My schedule is really busy, and I don't have too much time to really fit in too much of anything. But I sometimes see stuff on the TV, like if I'm in the living room at the house and I get home, they all in there. I see that we like number five or something. And I'm like, all right, that's cool, but I know what we're trying to do at the end of the day. You ever been to Notre Dame before? Yeah. My freshman year, we went and we had played against them. DJ had a good game. How was that? It was good. It was a pretty cool environment, a lot going on. It was a good-looking campus when we drove through also. Their fans, they rallied behind their team a lot, just like our fans do. And I'm sure our crowd will come out and support also more than they did in COVID due to restrictions. Malcolm, you had one and a half sacks last time you faced this group. What are your memories of that game? That was a good day. I feel like that was, I feel like it was a lot of preparation that went into those moments, and that that'll be the same for this weekend. It was for last week and every week of this season. I feel like this game, I also have to make sure that I'm being clean on the little things that I've slipped up in these past games. Syracuse, 
these past games that I played and make sure that my body's feeling great and that I'm the best version of myself to go put that on out, out on the field. And I feel like that'll have me in a spot just like I was the last time my freshman year when the last time we saw this group and tight ends and everything that they have going on with their offense. Hey, what up? All right. Thanks, Michael. Thanks, Michael. Thank y'all. Y'all have a good one.